Hello everyone, welcome to Applied Materials. My name is Linda Cruz. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking to you about our company's solar product offerings with an emphasis on our special selective emitter formation platform that you actually see here on display behind me. So when we're done, please feel free to ask questions and take a closer look. So just a quick overview. First, as you all know, the biggest driver in the solar industry today is cost, right? PV manufacturers are striving to increase cell efficiency at reduced cost in order to succeed in an increasingly competitive market. So given that, we at Applied Materials, we are the world's number one provider of solar PV manufacturing equipment. And so we are uniquely positioned to bring about dramatic PV cost reduction to meet the ultimate goal of grid parity. So we can do this for a variety of reasons. First, we have over 40 years of experience in commercializing technology, lowering costs to help industry scale. And we've accomplished this in semiconductors, we've done this in flat panel displays, and we're making this happen in solar PV. This is exactly what we do. And we also offer products across the entire PV manufacturing chain, from wafering to cell manufacturing. And we thoroughly understand the process tool interaction, thanks to our rich four decade long legacy in equipment manufacturing. So we're also partnering with leading edge suppliers from across the world to innovate, to develop, and to qualify consumables for PV manufacturing. And finally, our global reach and our R&D infrastructure make us distinct in being able to deliver both scale and technology differentiation. So what you see behind me here is a tool that most of you probably are very familiar with already. This is the Applied Puccini soft line for crystalline silicon PV cell manufacturing. And the Puccini soft line is an industry benchmark credited with producing the world's highest efficiency solar PV cells. And of course, the soft line machine that you see here is the selective emitter platform with a Sato technology. And as standard solar cell manufacturing nears its optimization threshold, PV manufacturing has to shift to higher efficiency advanced cell structures like selective emitter. And of course we at Applied Materials are ready with the solution that enables customers to build selective emitter cells more easily, more cost effectively, and of course for higher efficiency gain and with minimal risk. So given that, what exactly are selective emitter cells? Well, if you look up here, selective emitter cells contain a heavily doped region or selective emitted region directly below the metal contact fingers. And this selectively increases the conductance of the emitter so that the metal makes contact to the silicon with lower loss and it allows more photons to reach the electrons that are generated portions of the cell, right, for higher efficiency. So, Applied Puccini Selective Emitter Formation solution comprises all of the critical elements that are needed for creating a selective emitter cell and it has been proven to raise absolute cell efficiency on more than 0.5% at a cost of 1.5 cents per watt at customer sites. So, what you have here is an all-inclusive solution that is low cost, it's low risk, it's easy to implement, and it's production proven. So first off, we have our own production proven single step process for building selective emitter region. And this process involves screen printing of dopant paste on the wafer using the Bacini soft line printer. Now, we're not actually talking about any new untested approach here. This is a trusted and it's a reliable method on a printer that's truly best in class. And once the dopant paste is screen printed, a single step diffusion process forms both the lightly doped and the heavily doped regions. So surface oxidation is removed, followed by deposition of the anti-reflective coating. Secondly, Bacini printers have been optimized for printing dopant paste. Now, the special carbon fiber squeegee and the flood bar prevent dopant paste contamination. Soft wafer handling capabilities keep breakage rates below 0.2%, leading to greater cost savings, especially when it comes to higher value selective emitter cells.
And additionally, Asato technology enables superior printing with an alignment repeatability of plus or minus 15 microns. Now, in addition, our ovens have been characterized and qualified for drying dope and paste. And so, as you can see back here, integrating the applied Buccini selective emitter solution into your existing cell manufacturing line, it's really easy. All you actually need to do is add an additional Buccini soft printer and dryer. Okay, so while having the right equipment really is important, having a completely optimized, comprehensive solutions package that is ready to use makes all the difference. And this is just another area that sets us apart from the competition. So Applied Materials has developed high quality dopant paste in collaboration with Honeywell Electronic Materials. And this paste has been qualified on our equipment already. Now, Applied Materials has also designed, manufactured, and qualified special screens for both selective emitter formation and the subsequent metallization process. Now, these screens are made of non-metal mesh materials, and it prevent, prevents contamination and lasts up to twice as long as standard screens. Okay, so for selective emitter cells to work, it's extremely critical that the metal be precisely aligned on top of the narrowly doped SE region, right? So if the metal is misaligned, the cell will completely fail. So given that, what you actually see is a Buccini soft line printer. It's equipped with the Sato High Precision Selective Emitter technology. And this technology, along with our specialized screen, is instrumental in achieving the precise alignment that's so important for selective emitter metallization. This kind of precision, which is well above the industry standard, is enabled by multiple IR cameras, advanced illumination systems, and dedicated software algorithms. Now, at this point, I'd like to emphasize that the Asato High Precision Selective Emitter technology is proven to support all selective emitter formation methods across all wafer types. So that includes screen print, dopant, paste, or ink. You can see them up here, laser doping, laser ablation, ion implants, or etch pattern paste. So in all cases, Asato technology is able to clearly identify the SE pattern on the wafer and align the metal on top of it with very high accuracy and print alignment and repeatability. And of course, in addition to cell manufacturing systems, Applied Materials is a technology and market leader for solar PV wafering as well. So it offers squares, croppers, and wafering systems that are based on wire saw technology. And of course, silicon and wafering represent over 50% of the total module cost. So it makes advancements in wafering paramount to achieving the industry's cost objective. And in fact, Applied HCT has pioneered wafering technology for over 25 years now, and it has over 10 gigawatts in installed capacity today. Now, the Applied HCT B5 is the market leader wafering system. It has over 1,000 systems in the field. And of course, beyond equipment, our advancements in wire technology and related processing techniques are accelerating customer roadmaps toward lower cost. Well, simply put, Applied HCT Systems provides the industry's highest productivity with best-in-class yield for lowest total cost. Now, as you probably know, automation at the equipment process and factory levels is becoming increasingly important as solar factories grow in scale and complexity. So the Advanced Applied Smart Factory Automation Solutions features Applied's proven E3 equipment diagnostic platforms. It helps solar factories improve production efficiency while reducing cost. And of course, finally, supporting a vast customer base across the world is Applied's Global Services. Now, this is the solar industry's largest support infrastructure, and it includes over 3,000 expert field engineers worldwide. So we have specialized hardware and process knowledge to innovative parts and service solutions. We actually help keep systems running at peak performances while maximizing your return on solar equipment investment. 
So the ever-increasing need for cleaner, more sustainable forms of energy, it's fueling the expansion of the solar industry today. And so as solar PV strives to become more competitive with the more traditional forms of energy, it's really critical to drive down costs per watt. And of course, we at Applied Materials are delivering technological advancements to increase cell efficiency and manufacturing scale to boost factory productivity for powering the crystalline silicon roadmap.